Now, I'm gonna ask you a theoretical question. Oh, this is gonna be very controversial. What is the best Spider-Man movie? Some people will say Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Butterfingers. Some people might say The Amazing Spider-Man. Somehow. Some people might even say MCU Spider-Man, which is my personal favorite. I like Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but there's also another Spider-Man movie, and that, my friends, is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Arguably the best Spider-Man movie. It's one of my personal favorites. It's not my all-time favorite Spider-Man movie, but it's definitely up there. I love watching the movie. It's so great. And, you know, I'm probably the only one that gets annoyed by this, but there was no nice, high-quality figures that were, that were cheap. Shit. Marvel Legends, back when the film came out, released this kind of shitty two-pack that was a Target exclusive. It was terrible. I don't get why they did it. But this year, they finally, they finally made Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse figures. I got Miles Morales, and look at this. I got Peter B. Parker. You know, one of the best characters of the movie. So yeah, here we are now. I, we got two of the, of my most... <laughs> We, I, I don't know how to continue this. Hello everyone, Supermando Bros here, and today we're taking a look at Marvel Legends Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales, and Peter B. Parker. These are actually a bit dusty because they've been here a while. I keep forgetting to review these, but here we are now. I just keep forgetting to review these figures. I had Peter B. Parker for about two months and Miles Morales, I would say, for about a month now. I just keep forgetting to review them, but here we are now. I finally can review them. Well, for the, let's get right into it. So let's review Peter B. Parker first. He's my least favorite out of the two. Taking a look at the packaging for Peter B. Parker. It's your typical Marvel Legends packaging. It's basically the same, nothing really different here. On the front says Marvel Legends series, the Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse logo, Peter B. Parker, Hasbro. On the top, it has the Miles Morales Spider-Man logo. On the side, we have this beautiful art of Peter B. Parker and the Miles Morales Spider-Man logo there. Same on the other side. And on the back, we have that same exact image of Peter B. Parker. And it shows all the figures in the wave, shows Stilt Man, as well as a brief description Peter B. Parker, which is Peter Parker mentors Miles Morales and all new Spider-Man to understand the importance of power and responsibility. It says that in multiple languages. Now on the back, a whole bunch of legal stuff. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, quickly, I want to talk about how amazing this backdrop is. You can so much see the Miles Morales Spider-Man logo back there in white, and you see blue and white and red dots. It just looks so good. I really like the way this looks. It just looks fantastic. So here is Peter B. Parker out of the packaging, but let's actually first take a look at the accessories first, because... Why not? So the first piece of accessory we have is an alternative head, which is him looking angry slash determined with a Spider-Man mask covering the top of his head, which looks nice. I kind of wish he actually had a separate head for a full Spider-Man mask, but I am happy that they did include this head right here. They also come with a stilt man head. He also comes with this cup right here, which looks pretty nice. And you know, it's a cup. It looks pretty nice for what it is right here. And the cool part is you could put it in his hand, which is really cool. Now he looks like he's holding the cup now, which is pretty nice. I like that they did that. He also comes with some alternative hands, including these two web shooting hands, as well as two fists. And the two hands that are on Peter B. Parker has a cup holding hand, as well as his open hand. Take a look at Peter B. Parker here. I want to like this figure so bad because detail wise this figure looks amazing there's fantastic detail especially at the face there using that photo real technology there the sculpt overall looks fantastic the inside there just looks fantastic they even gave him a bit of a belly right there which is a fantastic detail sweatpants they're sweatpants but they look pretty good as well and his shoes look really good as well paint detail wise looks fantastic sculpt looks great overall looks really accurate to what he looks like in the film but there's just one problem and that is the articulation this figure is so stiff it is unbelievable how stiff this figure is i am sometimes afraid to move it because of how stiff this figure is like this side here i don't know why it's looser now than this one but this one's tight and the double bend at the elbow is really tight as well i put this figure in some hot water it kind of made the articulation a bit better but and then like the double bend at the knee look at it's just so 
damn, I like the boots as well. The boots are so stiff. I'm afraid I'm gonna break them. Like paint detail looks fantastic. Like it looks great. There's actually some detail that I wouldn't expect them to do. They painted the freaking zipper. Like the figure looks nice, but the articulation just uh. the head's on a ball joint as well as a hinge, so it can look down about that far. It's also really tight as well, as well as back about that far. Can't swivel side to side since it is on a ball joint, and also can tilt as well. What's really cool is that there's a ball joint at the top of the torso as well as the bottom to create some fantastic movement. The jacket is just really stiff so it kind of removes the articulation the arms can swivel all the way around and out about that far there's a swivel there a double bend the hand can swivel side to side as well as up and down this applies to all the hands that come with this figure and for the legs they're on ball joints so they could go forward about that far back not at all out about that far there's a swivel a double bend which is fantastic right here they can swivel side to side i'm afraid these are just gonna pop off the feet can go forward about that far back about that far and can swivel side to side and what's awesome about this figure is it does use pinless joints i'm really happy they're using it here i wish they use these more often because they just create a better sculpt this figure it's good like the articulation is fantastic but the problem is they're just so tight i'm always afraid they're gonna break but the figure is pretty good overall Next up, let's take a look at probably one of the best Marvel Legends figures of the wave is Miles Morales. Take a look at it here. It's basically the same as the PW Park and Packaging Marvel Legends series, Better Into Spider-Verse, Miles Morales down here. On the side, we have this awesome art of Miles Morales with his Spider-Man logo. Same on the other side. And on top, it does have his Spider-Man logo, bottom, a whole bunch of legal stuff. And on the back has that same exact art of Miles Morales, which looks fantastic. I love the art. Shows the stilt man, build a figure, all the figures and all that. Bottom, a whole bunch of legal stuff. And on the top, we do have a brief description of Miles, which says a Brooklyn native and just 13 years old, Miles Morales is a Spider-Man unlike any we've ever seen before. And yeah, that's basically it for the packaging. It's about the same as any Marvel Legends packaging, but with awesome art on the side. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I took the message and sent it, felt like I was born for this minute, this is my time. So taking a look at Miles Morales here, this is such a good figure, but quickly, let's take a look at the accessories first, because, you know, why not? He does come with two web-swinging hands, there's already one on the figure, so here is the other one. There's not that much paint detail, it's just black and red, but yep, he comes with two of those, as well as two fists, not that much paint detail, and there's already one on the figure. He also comes with this body part for Stilt Man, which I don't really care about. Last piece of accessory he comes with is his mask right here, which looks looks great. I actually like it better than the his unmasked head. Also, what I really like about this figure is that the dumbbell joint is connected to the head. When you see this, don't worry, it's supposed to do that. Since we were talking about Miles Morales' head sculpt, let's take a look at his un unmasked head sculpt, which I think looks fine. I don't think it's bad, but also I do have some problems with it. It is using the photo real technology, so if you look really, really close, it's a bit pixelated, but it's completely fine by me. His face doesn't really show any, like, emotion, like him smiling. I don't know, I that's just something that I have a problem with. Also, his eyebrow right here is a bit white that's a bit weird it's also this line i don't get why they did that this head sculpt isn't that bad but i just prefer this head sculpt over this one but quickly i just want to say a missed opportunity for an accessory and that is these electrical beam things i don't know i got this from the deadpool and negasonic change warhead two pack i think this would have worked great for miles morales i did a whole bunch of pictures with this on his arm and i think it just looks great i just think it's a missed opportunity i'm not sure if this is the color of his electric Full beam electrical power thingy, but I think it would have been a really cool accessory for them to add it. But that's just my personal opinion, and I'm completely fine with the accessories he does come with. So take a look at the actual figure. I love this figure. This figure is so good. It's like as if they just took it straight out of the movie and just made it a actual figure. The sculpt is actually really unique. It's not just his Spider-Man suit with him wearing his jacket and his shorts, as well as his Nike shoes. I believe it was Nike, right? It's Nike, right? <laughs> which do not have any Nike branding on it for obvious legal reasons. For paint detail wise, there's not that much paint detail, but what there is, is pretty good. His head has some paint detail. His hands have some paint detail. There is some paint missing on the chest, but I think it just works here because he did spray paint this on. His belt has some paint detail as well as his shoes have some paint detail, which his shoes, I don't think look that great paint detail wise, but 
it's fine by me. But yeah, there's just not that much paint detail on this figure. The jacket is made out of two separate pieces. We have the red jacket, which is a separate piece, as well as his bluish green jacket, also being a separate piece, so as you can see right there. You could create some really nice movement with the jacket, so I really like that they did that. For articulation, the head is on a double joint. He could look up about that far, down about that far, can swivel side to side, as well as tilt for his torso what's weird is that there is an ab crunch i don't get why they did that but yet he could crunch about that far and back you have to really have to work it out that far surprisingly the jacket really does not remove articulation it, i'm actually kind of surprised by that there's also a ball joint at the bottom of the torso i really don't get why they put a ball joint here but not up here i I, I don't know. For the arms, they can go all the way around and out about that far. There is a single bend up here and can swivel side to side. His hands can swivel side to side as well as go up and down or side to side depending on where his hand is. And for the legs, they can go forward about that far, back about that far, in, and out about that far. Far. At the bottom of his shorts, they can swivel side to side. It is a bit tight, but he can do that. And then double bend at the knee. There's also um, a pillin strength there. His shoes can go forward about that far, back about that far, and can swivel side to side. This one's a bit tight. This one is looser. And yeah, so you're doing a quick size comparison here. He is next to Peter Reed Parker, and definitely Peter Reed Parker is bigger than Miles, but that makes sense since he is a early teen while he is in his late 20s. So yeah. Yeah, let's get into the size comparisons. Alright, so I realized I didn't actually film an outro for this, so I'm just gonna say this outro right now. These figures are great, and I highly recommend you pick them up.